So the base cream I'll be using today is um, cereal white gold whitening milk. This is a natural um, skin whitening milk that has not been mixed with anything. And I really like this cream for my skin because it's, it has just been so good to me. Um, you can use Nivea um, lotion or whatever base cream that you know that is good for you. I like to use this one. And then I'll be using my measuring cup. Um, this is a this is one cup, um, 250 ml. So I'll be measuring. I think I'll be doing one and a half. Cause... So this is my one cup of lotion. Um, the serums I'll be using today is pigmental serum and more white skin per skin perfecting serum. I like more of serums into my mixture than I like um, hydroquinone or tube creams because I do not want um, stretch marks. And this is my whitening glycerin. I just want to add a little bit of glycerin into, into this. So most of my products, because this particular cream um, is about 450 ml. And so I use it twice, like I mix it twice. I do not like to mix all of my lotions down like in full batch. I like to divide them into two and then mix some. So the product I buy that I use in mixing, I, I also divide it into two. So I've used this pigment though. It's about, there's about half of it. I don't know, but you cannot really properly see it. There is about half of it in this container. So I'm just going to add add our pigment dough into this mixture you can get pigment dough in any cosmetic stores around you and it's it's not that expensive it's quite affordable so i've added it comes empty i've added about half pigment dough serum into it i'm also going to be adding half of my skin um, perfecting serum this serum is formulated to fade freckles egg spots dark acne discoloration and it moisturizes the skin and for me i prefer a more a more glossy looking skin so this is also about half i prefer a more glossy skin okay a little bit more than half but i'm going to just eyeball this and add this to it as you can see, my mixture is looking so yummy. It's looking like custard. Um, into this because I just love a more glossy skin than as compared to a more white skin. I don't even know if that's a correct thing to say. And then I'm going to add about three tablespoons of glycerin. Any glycerin will do. I'm just showing you how I mix my own lotions that I use. This is one tablespoon two three so if you want like a more whitening effect you can add creams that have a little bit of clobeta so that's your tube creams but i do not like tube creams inside any of my mixture because it has so many much damaging effects on your skin than it has than its benefits it's supposed to be used to treat um, skin issues and not be turned into a cream. So this is how my lotion looks like. So I'm going to turn. Right now, I don't have power or electricity, so I cannot use my hand blender. So I'm going to mix. This is going to take a little bit of time to like properly mix this whole thing, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Um, When I'm done mixing, I'm going to show you like the end results. I'm going. This is going to take me about like ten minutes to like properly just keep turning for it to properly mix. So the ingredients I added again: pigment dough serum. Um, this is a fruit acid concentrated serum. I added skin perfecting serum. You can use this skin perfecting serum or citrocle serum. Like I told you guys, I use citrocle serum. Because it removes um, 
hyperpigmentations, colorations, and spots like that. But this one is more active, although more expensive than Citroclair serum. These two um, serums contains some type of steroids. I wouldn't lie about that, but it's not bad on your skin. Because for you to even alter the appearance of your skin, you need clobetasol, you need steroids, and you might also need hydroquinone. And steroids are better preferences. I, I, I just prefer steroids better as compared, as that's when compared to um, to the other um, agents, skin whitening agents. And these two um, serums have been in the market for a very long time. And it keeps working and it really does not um, have side effects. And this one you can also use morning and night. So I like products that are not harsh on my skin per se. And then I added a little bit of glycerin. This is whitening glycerin. I got it from an organic store. You can get whitening glycerin from anywhere. Any cos good cosmetic shop around you can get whitening glycerin. And you can also alternate as in change your choice of um, base cream. So whichever base cream or cream that you know that is not really harsh on your skin per se and you use it is not harsh me i like a little bit of milk concentrate because i like the i like more whitish undertone than yellow yellowish tone um, on my skin so so many people have asked me in the comment section to like show them how i mix my cream basically this is how i mix my lotions that i my lotion that i use and this is it you can alternate this one, this particular one right here, with Citroclair serum. Whichever one you get in the market or the one you prefer is good. If you want to have like a more, if you want this lotion to be like super, super fast, like if you're looking for something to whiten you up like super, super fast, you can add tube cream of your choice. See, um, Koji Clair, whatever tube cream that you know that is good for you like i always i like to say you must try something before you start to mix so i do not like tube creams because my skin reacts to it and tube creams are not to be used extensively like for a very long period of time i do not like it like that because it causes more harm than the good that it would actually do on your skin I hope I'm not talking too much, but as you can see, the, the color of the cream is kind of changing. It was looking watery before, but it's kind of getting fluffy. I'm going to turn this for like four, four, four to five more minutes. I'm just going to concentrate on turning this. If you have a hand whisker, the bricks you use for eggs, you can use that. You have hand and um, blender. The one they use in mixing cream, you can use that. But I'm just showing the people at home who are not like really into skincare who have asked me several like how can they mix? They want exactly the cream that I use. How do I mix my own cream? Okay, so this is how I mix my own cream. And I'm just showing you this method. Aside from the fact that I do not have power supply right now, I'm just showing you this method if you do not have like skin mixing equipment in your house. You can just quickly get a bowl but do not forget to like sterilize your utensils clean your plate and your spoon properly it is very 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 important to do that and this mixture smells so nice that you do not even need to add fragrance to it like it smells like it already has some type of perfume in it so you just keep mixing 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 and really guys i will just continue mixing this and i promise i'm not adding anything inside of this again and then i'll transfer it back into this container because like readily this is what i have right now most of my packaging containers are not clean um so i'm going to 
when i'm done mixing i'm going to pour it back into this container i told you this is the base cream i use you can alternate between different base cream skin sources palma skin sources um is also a good base cream to use if you are suffering from skin spots like if you are having spots on your skin like too much spots on your skin or patches on your skin skin success um is good for that and then you use citroclast serum for that instead of this that will help you clear those spots on your skin but this is so i alternate sometimes if i can't find citro um cereal white gold in the market i'll buy skin success farmer skin success fake milk uh, that's a little bit more expensive than this but whichever one i i can lay my hands on is what i use thank you for watching this video please do well to subscribe to my youtube channel um it doesn't really cost a thing but subscribe to my youtube channel as you can see this looks so fluffy and it doesn't look watery at all with all the liquid i added into it so you just keep turning or keep staring till like it gets very sticky it doesn't just so it's not watering anymore i mean to say and that will be good to go thank you for watching this video please just so this is what my final result looks like if you watch the video from the beginning you would know that, like the cream was a little bit watery but now it's like very thick so you just turn your mixture till like it becomes very consistent and you know thick thick like this thick. and that would do this is very thick i like the consistency like this i don't want it to be watery yeah and you can see that the mixture kind of increased the quantity of the um, lotion so basically this is what i use i, I kind of have to remove my gloves and i'm done mixing i'm done it looks yummy it looks like some type of ice cream <laughs> But this is not edible though. Do not put it inside of your mouth. I won't be held responsible. And if you want to um, imitate this video or my mixture, feel free. But do that at your own risk.